Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anime Survivor, wherein we combine anime and uh, Survivor into a show that everyone will love. This is season or episode seven, All Stars, wherein we're bringing back some of everyone's favorite characters to have them again try to win uh, Anime Survivor. So, Blake, what do you know about Survivor? I know that it takes place on an island, generally speaking, on the other side of the ethereal plane, and that the contestants are brought there for a particular sin they've committed, and much like Lord of the Flies, they will have to fight to the death at the end. Shit, he got it. Okay. Yeah, that sounded perfect. Andrew, what do you know about anime? Uh, it's got moving pictures, right? I'm not sure about that. Okay, you both are clearly way more qualified to be doing this than I am, but we're going to do it anyway. So, episode seven, all stars. We've got three tribes here. The first tribe is the winner's tribe. They're all characters who have won their previous seasons. Woo! So we have uh, Dexter Douglas, who won episode three. We have uh, Jasmine Fenton, who won episode two. Mewtwo, who won episode six. Kaguya, who won our first episode. Taiju, who won the East Kai episode four, and yeah. Zuko, who won episode five. My boy Taiju. So th that's our first batch of returnees. Our second batch are the fan favorites. Uh, no one necessarily liked them, but Brant Steele arbitrarily decided they were the fan favorites. So here we have Charizard, Mr. Crocker, Garfield, Haruko, Kagome, and Tenzin. You know, and this then, seems like they, uh, can, they can give our winners a good run for the money this time. I, I maybe Charizard so. will stop ignoring move orders. I mean, Ash isn't here, so maybe he'll listen. Unlikely, but... We'll and the see. final team we have is, of course, Nepotism, which are six characters we picked to put in here. So we have Bench, Freakazoid, Inuyasha, Jackie Chan, Psyduck, and truck Coon. Hey, Truck Coon has got this all yeah, the way. Yeah, Truck Coon and Taiju uh, bros all across the sky. Now, I would like to note that in this episode, we are having returning relationships blend in. So, like, because Taiju and Truck Coon were a strong pair in the first game they played, they're already going to be built in as a strong pair this game. And then in cases like um, Bench and Haruko, who fucking hated each other, they're going to fucking hate each other again. Damn With straight. that, we also have, I added in some randomized relationships because, you know, the Survivor community, they talk with each other after games. So obviously they're going to build relationships or fears towards other players. So that's reflected in here uh, by me randomly rolling D20s to see how everyone felt about each other. Oh, boy. D20s, the best way to prove things in life. In addition to the pre-built relationships, I have tweaked characters' stats a little bit to reflect how they played in previous games. Ooh. So Kagome, who in Inuyasha is theoretically a character who can put up with a lot of shit and is very patient, uh, we learned in her season that she fights with fucking everybody. So Kagome has no temperament anymore. She is just... She is as volatile as Charizard. Ooh. That's, uh, uh, that's a fiery temper. And Taiju, who was really good at making friends, is more social now. And uh, Dexter, I don't know, I just made him better at starting fires because I thought it was funny. So I've, I've gone through and kind of like, you know, put my thumb on the scales a little bit to see how things go. Because, I mean, you know... As as people play more anime Survivor, they get better or worse. It's just like real Survivor. Also, to be fair, we both know that Dexter Douglas is an employee of PG&E, so his fire skills are beyond reproach. Ooh, this is true. No, Charizard. Okay, Charizard's the PG&E employee, and I really hope we don't have a situation wherein Charizard or Zuko have to make fire. Because they should succeed, but you know they're going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> Psyduck is going to beat Charizard at making fire. I'm calling it right now. He used Trick Room and then Metronome rolled Fire Blast. God damn it. Well, and Zuko can't set a fire because he's too busy saying, hello, Zuko here. Hello, Zuko here. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe Anime Survivor takes place in that brief period where Zuko can't firebend anymore because he hasn't uh, danced with the dragons. Ah. Um, but he's also not full of, like, volatility and rage. So, everybody, who are you rooting for just out the gate? Oh, who, who Max, for? that's not a fair question. You know my heart belongs to Truck Goon. I, I feel like... Until Truck Coon wins, you're just always going to root for Truck Coon. And then after Truck Coon wins, you'll feel justified in rooting for Truck Coon and continue doing it. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is I'm fair. I'm going to stay with Truck Coon as well. Okay. I'm obviously on Team Jackie Chan. Because, I mean, of course, someone has to be. Uh, and it looks like chat is on either Team Zuko or Team Truck Coon, which makes sense. Because yeah. that's kind of all we ever do. Should, should I really, like, I feel like I need to stop including Truck Coon in Seasons just so then we get more, more picks. Yeah, but, okay, fine. I'll root for Bench. Oh, fuck. We're going to war. I'll root for Bench because we need a third, and Bench gets left out when it comes to love for inanimate objects, so. I don't know, have you seen Orasuki, Blake? All be Bench is involved in every romantic relationship in Orasuki. Yeah, everyone like confesses their point. love on Bench. Yeah, I'm I don't know how I feel about Bench. What I'm, I do know is I'm all on the three fence. of us are picking someone from the nepotism tribe, which makes sense. Oh, well, of course. So let's let's uh let's proceed. Let's start this shit. Do it. So oof. Okay, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Okay, there well, we, we did it. So out the gate, uh, we have some rewards. The only tribe without... Uh, Zuko's tribe has a fire-making kit, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> but he can't start fires. He got the kit. <laughs> His firebending is fine. <laughs> and then uh, Charizard has Flint. So the two tribes that already have people who can naturally start fires... Well, yeah, they got to deny that third tribe. That's how it works. Oh, no, Max, you've misunderstood. He's won Flint, Michigan. He's now governor of Flint, Michigan. Oh, oh no. It's its own independent state now. So what you're saying is Charizard is the one who put all the lead in the pipes. What I'm saying is he will set that No, that, that seems like a Crocker kind of plot. Because oh, then, right. then the fairies will wish the lead gone. You're right. Okay, so... I mean, but Crocker doesn't even have fairies this time. No, no, but no, no. This, this is his trap. He's he's waiting for proof of fairies by making the, when the lead go magically goes away. This is this is the most. Why why is he on Survivor then? It's Crocker. He's playing five D chess. He's he's with Psyduck clearly. Okay, so nobody finds an idol in the winners tribe. Nobody finds an idol in the favorites tribe, and nobody finds an idol in the nepotism tribe. Everybody sucks at idol hunting. But nepotism and the favorites win immunity. It's uh, Tracks of My Tears. Uh, it has tracks in it, so obviously Truck Coon's going to do very well. Yeah. I don't even know what else. It looks like they're moving carts and doing mazes, and that sounds like Truck Coon's MO. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I guess Kagome yelled them into victory. I guess. It's really, really sad that the winning tribe does not win the first challenge. Like, nah, they they got to start off slow, give the other people a chance before they take over. A false, it's a false sense of confidence they want to build. Okay, so they're trying to minimize their threat level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nepo nepotism being misstilled probably was intentional, and we won't acknowledge that. Okay. So, uh, the winner's tribe, Jazz and Kaguya bond strongly. Ooh. So, maybe we'll get some, you know, early winner alliance going there. And Mewtwo and Taiju have a major fight. I bet Mewtwo shed on his, his buddy Truck. Oh, no. Yeah, Mewtwo just saw Truck and went like, ah, that guy's a loser. Why is he here? And then Taiju went, ah, fucking kill you. And then, then Taiju okay. didn't do anything and let Mewtwo beat the shit out of him. So we have our first alliance, and it is Jazz, Kaguya, and Hello Zuko here. Hmm, this I'm is so a, excited. I'm liking this alliance. Like of of the th like, if I had to pick three from the Winners Tribe, I'd want to see do well. It is Jazz, Kaguya, and Zuko here. 
they're they're my bros. I, I don't give a shit about Taiju. I don't give a shit but, about But Taiju. Too. I don't care. I only love him because he supports truck. <laughs> That's an option. I mean, Jazz Jazz makes sense in Alliance. In her game, she actually voted with the majority every time. So she made it all the way to the end of the game voting with the majority. It is nuts. So of course she's just gonna form an alliance immediately so she can vote with the majority. I mean she and Zuko are gonna be utter synergy on that front. Just gotta what, just gotta ride synergy? the wave. I don't is is it her hair reminds him of fire? Is that what their no, synergy is? It, their synergy is going to be their willingness to just, you know, concede to the majority until it's too late. Okay. Hmm. Let's uh, check out the favorites. Mr. Crocker and Kagome have a fight. Kagome is not learning her lessons from the last time she played. No. She is <laughs> still being a little bitch. And it is not working out for her because an alliance, an anti-Kagome alliance forms. Well, that's really bad news for her. Everybody but her and Haruko. So to be fair, Tenzin realized if he has a Charizard as a pet, he's like two steps away from pretending to be Avatar. Yeah, no, no, this is this is it. And I mean, we have Psyduck, so if he can get Psyduck in an alliance later, then he's got a Waterbender. Yeah. And I don't really know what uh, who the Airbender would be. Maybe Crocker because he's full of hot air, but you know, we'll figure it out. Next, we have nepotism, which I guess I didn't spell right. But what's important here, I don't I don't care about the spelling. That's fine. This is a bad tribe. What's important here is that Bench and Jackie Chan are somehow working together. Yet again. After Bench idled Jackie Chan out in season in episode one, they have decided to, I guess, bury the hatchet and form an alliance with Freakazoid and Psyduck. Yeah, I gotta get some chaotic neutral to keep things interesting. Oh, that is just Bench is chaotic neutral or chaotic evil. Freakazoid's <laughs> chaotic neutral. Psyduck's chaotic neutral. Jackie's like neutral good. He's probably to, chaotic good. To be fair, Bench is skeptical of Freakazoid because of his lack of sitting down, and Jackie Chan is skeptical of Freakazoid because Jackie Chan can't do stunts around Freakazoid, so they gotta keep him in check. Okay, so so this is a situation of keep your enemy closer. Oh yes, because Freakazoid is the representative for anti-sitting. Okay, <laughs> I, I, sure, sure. I was unaware sure. of this turn of events, but I am feel informed now. Okay, <laughs> who who is getting voted out of the winners' tribe? Oh boy. Um, well, it's probably not going to be Jazz, Kaguya, or Zuko here. Taiju. Uh, I don't want it to be Taiju, but it's going to probably be Taiju, Mewtwo, or Dexter. I'm just going to say um, Dexter because he has glasses. I'm going to say Dexter because, I mean, when it comes down to it, he's he's the weak link in this tribe. Yeah. I'm I'm going to say Taiju because you are when you play this game, you're stuck in the pose that your photo is shown. And anyone who looks like that the entire time would be incredibly obnoxious. Oh, he probably <laughs> is, but he's supporting I, truck. I I agree with Sergeant Gunsa, though. Mewtwo does need to fucking go. They yeah, after, after what he did around. to my boy Lance, he can't stick around. Yeah, Mewtwo is terrifying. Yeah. But, I mean, Dexter is a weaker player. And if you looked at his victory in his season, Dexter made it to the end by, like, strategically betraying everybody. So he he's a, he's a backstabbing bitch. I wouldn't keep him around. Oof. So first vote, Dexter. Oh. All right. Second vote, Dexter. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Third vote, Taiju. No, oh, no, 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 no. Let's let's not do this. It's too Fourth soon. Fourth vote, Taiju. <laughs> Fifth vote, Taiju. Oh, okay, like, so we have one vote left, and we're three votes Taiju, two votes Dexter. Not Taiju. It's. I, th I think it's Taiju, Andrew. Ah. Andrew, it is. Taiju is Aww. voted out. Four to two. His buddy. Pulling a Tina Wesson, he wins his first season, and then is the first one voted out in his second. 
which is also all stars. So oh, good job, man. Taiju. You're gone forever. Poor bitch. But, yeah, Mewtwo voted with you, poor, but poor no one truck. else did. So sorry, uh, Truck Coon lost Taiju his buddy. Stands. Your boy is gone. Truck Coon is lost and alone. And when the Winter Tribe comes in and Taiju isn't there, how do you think Truck Coon is reacting? Truck Coon is uh, distraught. He wants to run right. some people over and make some new uh, Isekai anime. So he's going to start an entire new season of all Isekai with yeah. those five. Yeah. So, Truck Coon has turned on the engine light to be passive aggressive, and no matter what anyone does, they can't turn it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as much as I love that, I prefer the concept of uh, trapped in another world with my Hello Zuko here. So. I'm going with Andrew's explanation. That is fair. Let's keep moving. So Kaguya finds an idol as if she didn't need more power. Oh, boy. And well, it'll alliance, probably go straight to her head as per norm. I mean, she needs it, man. And her alliance is doing really well. We've got some solid loyalty here. Yeah, it's looking good. And then... <sighs> I just, I'm just distraught by Taiju. At the Favorites Alliance, nobody has an idol yet. The alliance is still the same. Uh, pretty low loyalty here, though, with Crocker and Garfield to Tenzin. I mean, and would you trust Crocker or Garfield? I mean, I wouldn't. Look at look at their fucking faces. Yeah. I mean, I mean Garfield... to be fair, no one has food to offer Garfield, so who's he going to go with? Yeah, I mean, also, both of them made it to the final four. I wouldn't trust either. Like, yeah. They, they're not... They they didn't win their seasons because they lost fire-making. <laughs> I'd get rid of them. Charizard thinks they suck. You can't make a fire? Charizard would be right. Like wishing for it. He didn't have fairies. Yeah, he's just... And that, oh, off. Freakazoid has an idol. Uh-oh. Things are getting freaky. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to freak out. And uh, that alliance is still in existence. And uh, loyalty's up a little bit, which is good. Except for Psyduck, who's just deep-throating a wine bottle. <laughs> Always. That's all he does. So, the winners again lose immunity. Oof, they're not doing so hot. Obviously, Truck Coon's going to win. He's going to pull it out. He need, he he wants them all to suffer. He, he needs to put it in gear. Yeah, and he did at the crossroads, and that has road in its name, so obviously Truck Coon wins. For sure. Sounds like there's swimming involved, so I don't really know how the winners lost to Charizard, but they did. I mean, Truck Coon had a lot of drive to make it through, so. Beautiful. You're going to need to put those puns in reverse, Blake. Just... Ah, we, we got enough storage in the back of Truck Coon to keep them all there. He's got a four wheel drive. He can do this. Proceed. <laughs> so over on the Winter Tribe, we have uh, a new two one. new alliances. Oof. So they're going to tribal. Ah. Uh. Kaguya has an idol. We have an alliance between Kaguya, Zuko, and Jazz. And then Kaguya, Zuko, and Dexter. And then Jazz and Mewtwo. Uh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ha. Huh. So I think Mewtwo is going home. I think so, but this is still a weird turn but, of events. God, this is exactly what you'd expect from winners. A total clusterfuck. Yeah, they, they don't know Mewtwo what to do. Trying to fuck over Jazz with a trap. I mean, yeah. they could be. Mewtwo could be trying to draw Jazz in to take a blow for him. Mewtwo, yeah. I mean, Mewtwo, you get him to the merge and he's going to wreck shit. You can't let that happen. True. But if he wants to sacrifice Jazz, he can do that. Kagome's impressing the team. Paya? Uh, sure, after fighting with everybody, I don't know, maybe she cleansed a spirit, or she, she probably, like, jumped in the well as a bit, and everyone enjoyed it. That's my theory. Good enough for your theory for me. I don't know. Same. And... Freakazoid has the idol. Woo. Inuyasha and Psyduck find something in common. What do Inuyasha and Psyduck have in common? 
They're both alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. Checks out. Chat agrees. Checks out. And Psyduck has abandoned Freakazoid, Bench, and Jackie Chan. Ooh. Not... Which is just... Ooh. Well, Bad he's continuing his that. confusion strat. <laughs> well, to be fair, Jackie Chan was like, hey, maybe you want to take it easy. And then that started a drunken rant that opened with, maybe you should take it easy. So are you implying that Psyduck, in his drunken rant, probably said something racist and they kicked him out of the alliance? Uh, absolutely. But it was mostly towards Freakazoid. He really has an issue with blue people. That's a prejudice I didn't know was real, but I'm not shocked that it exists. Yeah. So Psyduck uh, busting out his last time the 5D chess strat didn't work. He's going straight for 6D chess. We'll see how it works. Yeah. Okay. So we know Kagi is not using the idol because it says so on the bottom thing. But who, who's getting voted out here? I, I think it's Mewtwo, yeah. but... Uh, there's a chance Jazz, Jazz is taking the fall for him. So you think it's Mewtwo or Jazz? Yeah. I think it's Jasmine. I don't... I just... I wanted to be Mewtwo because I was just so upset with how dominant he was last time. Yeah, I, I agree I mean, with you. It should be Mewtwo, but... Okay, let's see. First vote, Dexter. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh. This is just a bad day for him. <laughs> He's Second doing... vote, Dexter. Okay. He's uh, he's making a lot of friends. His ability to start fires is not impressing anyone. No. Third vote, Mewtwo. Oh, here we go, boys. Looking good. Ooh, happening. Fourth vote, Mewtwo. Yes. So yes. we're two Mewtwo, two Dexter, one vote left. And it's fucking Mewtwo. We got Lance got revenge. Yeah. It took another season. Damn, that feels good. And Mewtwo, the undisputably strongest competi uh, competition member of the tribe, was voted out of the tribe that couldn't win share. So I don't, I don't know what the winners' tribe is going for here. They just knew they needed to get rid of Mewtwo. That was it. Yeah, they're they're clearly more threatened by his strategic ability than anything else. Because here's the thing: the next best competitive player they had in their tribe was Taiju who they also voted out. Like, I, I think stat-wise at this point... I mean, Augie they're just like, well, who's the most threatening? Vote him out. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I think... If I remember how I statted everyone out, Kaguya... Oh, no, Zuko's the next best. Then Kaguya. So, yeah. Just wrecked. All right, the, the, the winner's team is not, uh, not looking so great. No, it's not. They do not know what they are doing. Clearly, they're winning at losing, and they've got. Uh, I don't yeah. know who's going out. Which alliance yeah. is better? Yeah, I don't know. I I guess the second alliance. Zuko's slightly more loyal to Dexter than he is Jasmine. I mean, to be fair, he can't fire Bend, and Dexter is willing to teach him. How how, how does Dexter fire Bend? With a lighter. <laughs> I mean, Jasmine has, like, ghost weapons. I bet she could start a fire with those. Yeah, but Zuko didn't know fire could be created by artificial means. This has opened up his mind to a world of possibilities. That's that's reasonable. Okay, let's proceed. I, I appreciate the chat comment of the tribe is playing such a long game. They're just voting themselves out. <laughs> yeah, they're, I think they're doing a Matt Singh strategy wherein they just vote their entire tribe out so like the two people left can go super deep because they have no threat potential. So, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see a Survivor Philippines situation. I'm going to pretend I know what that means. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so in uh, Survivor Philippines, one of the tribes lost like every pre-swap challenge, so they only had two people left. Ooh. Uh, that must have been fun. Uh, one of them won the season, so it worked out <laughs> well for them. Oh, man, amazing. Yeah, so on the Favorites Tribe, uh, nothing's changed. And on the Nepotism Tribe, nothing has changed. Though it looks like uh, now that Psyduck is gone, 
bench Freakazoid and Jackie like each other a little bit more. So maybe Psyduck was holding their friendship back. Yeah. I mean, they kept having to debate over who would hold the intervention. It was really stressing them out. I mean, Freakazoid knows goes too. His intervention was really weird. Uh, I have no it, doubt. It mostly involved Cosgrove showing up and just giving Psyduck a lot of meat. <laughs> All but right. The winners did win immunity this time. Hey, uh, hey I don't like this. I, I assume that uh, Psyduck's drinking problem really held nepotism back. Which I think means he should be the vote, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see. I don't know. I mean, but guilt he, is a power, powerful thing. Yeah. Guilt, guilt is indeed powerful, um, but we'll see what happens. So uh, Dexter has abandoned Kaguya and Zuko. Oh, no. So that means that, uh, I mean, Dexter would be next to go if they were voting again, but they're not, so he should be fine for now. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, on the favorites tribe, Mr. Crocker has the idol. I don't think we mentioned that earlier, but it did happen. Charizard and Tenzin find something in common. Blake, you were right. Tenzin is using Charizard for his firebending. Hey, you know what? With Ash gone... Charizard's really found somebody who's willing to use him for his full potential. Yeah, so they can both that, fly. So you're saying that Charizard actually respects Tenzin? Charizard respects Tenzin's unwillingness to smile in any situation. Okay, reasonable. <laughs> and then doesn't... Garfield and Haruko find something in common. Uh, Cat-like grins? I don't know. Utter I'm gonna go with... Haruko... Um, because Haruko loves, like, big bowls of cup of noodle. And she got, like, the biggest cup of noodle bowl. And she didn't like it, so she gave it to Garfield. Oh, and they both show love through hostility. Yeah, that's, ah, that's right. Ah. Okay, we nailed it. We nailed it, boys. They're, they're best friends. And uh, Crocker has abandoned Charizard, Garfield, and Tenzin. Ah, smart. And Sorry, yeah. So I, I don't know why. He would do this. They didn't I think have fairies. That, yeah, yeah, no fairies. And also, I think I think he was feeling left out because of Tenzin and Charizard's bond. And Garfield doesn't get jealous. He knows he can just kill Charizard like he would Odie. So it's not an issue to him. But Crocker, Crocker had some loyalty problems there. Well, and and Tenzin kept asking Crocker to test out his metal bending, and Crocker just does not know what that means. Crocker's like, I have a net. Does that, is that, is that metal bending? <laughs> exactly. Just not. So on the nepotism tribe, who is going to tribal council? We have uh, Freakazoid has the idol. Inuyasha and Jackie Chan find something in common. It's okay. probably their strength. I, I don't know. Uh, strong boys. Time travel? They both know the Shaolin monks. Were there were there Shaolin monks in Inuyasha? I don't remember because I stopped watching it. See, nobody's finished in Inuyasha, so we can say whatever we want. That's fair. I mean, Sam has, but he's not helping us moderate today, so no one can fact check us. Proceed. Ah, we have ultimate power. All right. Okay, who is getting voted? Psydu out? Psyduck. Psyduck. I think it's Psyduck. He he abandoned his alliance. Yeah, that piece of shit. It's definitely Psyduck. Fuck it's you, Psyduck, you drunk piece of shit. The chaotic shit. You can shit. abandon my man, Jackie Chan? You sure as shit can't. So it looks like Freakazoid is playing his idol on Jackie Chan. Well, so, you um, know, this is pretty chaotic, but I'm down for it because it's protecting Jackie. I mean, whatever keeps Jackie alive. Jackie probably knew Freakazoid had an idol. And we all know how scared Jackie gets at the mention of idols after what Bench did to him. So, let's see. First vote, Psyduck. Second vote, Inuyasha. Third vote, Inuyasha. Okay. There were two votes, Inuyasha. One vote, Psyduck. Three votes left. Fourth vote, Inu Inuyasha. And Inuyasha's voted out 5-1. Oh. Even though he bonded with Jackie Chan and Psyduck abandoned the alliance, they decided to keep 
Psyduck over Inuyasha. And it's just sad for our man. Inuyasha, in his season, like, he formed the largest alliance, so he got dismantled by all the small alliances. Mm. So it's really upsetting to just see him go without any friends this time. And yeah, he, he voted out Psyduck, and that's all that happened there. Okay. Let's look at the tribes. With Inuyasha gone, how do you think Kagome's taken it? Uh, Kagome, who never stops yelling, is now at that point where blood's coming out, out of her mouth. So, so this is a Tyler Bailey situation from Big Brother 20. I'm going to pretend I know what that means and say yes. Please don't explain it. <laughs> okay. I will not explain it. It's good TV. Uh, we will now proceed... And tribes are being shuffled. All right. So here are, oh, fuck yeah. Bench, Freakazoid, and Jackie sticking together. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's based. Also, Jasmine, <laughs> Kaguya, and Zuko. Ooh, fuck, no. okay. So, I mean, oh, Haruko and Tenzin are fucked, and then Garfield and Crocker are fucked. Yeah, absolutely. And then in the nepotism tribe, everyone there is just... <laughs> yeah, that's just the chaos tribe. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah, Trakun's I mean, going to run over all, all of them. He's going to try. Well, I mean, Trakun and Dexter Douglas are friends, so they they do have a pre-existing relationship. So maybe maybe something will work out there. And uh, Trakun and Psyduck, I guess, could pick up Dexter and use him against Kagome and Charizard or some shit. Well, Psyduck's going to try and get a DUI by climbing into Truck Coon and driving too fast past a police officer. Don't, don't do that, there Psyduck. Why on the island, Blake? <laughs> because the minute there's an alcoholic nearby, the police will appear. Hmm. They need, okay. they need I to mean, take Freakazoid's here. He's a person of color. <laughs> and Psyduck is a racist. We've established this. Probably why it broke the alliance, yeah. So. We have the worst fucking cannon. Let's proceed. So yeah, on the winner's tribe, Tenzin's alone, and then we have Bench Freakers of Jackie. Yeah, that's on the favorite's tribe, Crocker and Kaguya have idols, so this is kind of a shit show. And then uh, Jazz, Kaguya, and Zuko are an alliance, and then Kaguya and Zuko are an alliance. And holy <sighs> shit, look at these loyalties. Kaguya and Zuko are already at an 8-9 loyalty. Oof. And then with Jazz, they're at six, seven, eight. So this is this is just a power trio that I think is going to hold through until they get like dissected. And yeah. so is it Zuko's knowing, harem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Zuko's harem. So we have the Zuko's harem alliance, which is Kaguya and Jazz. And with, Zuko, uh, and then Kaguya sometimes gets Zuko on the side. Yeah, I mean. Z Zuko definitely prefers Kaguya, but he's still fine with Jazz. And I think this just goes to show that if you just go up to women and go, hello, Zuko here, uh, that that's really all you need sometimes, and they're, they're down. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that we are in another season where Zuko has again managed to just, like, fuck boy it up. He's really good at that. Yeah, he... He outfuckboyed Mako last time. Now he's going to outfuckboy everyone this time. He may not win this episode of Anime Survivor, but he's definitely our resident fuckboy. Yeah, he's already winning our hearts. Yeah, so I'm going to stop saying fuckboy and hit proceed. Uh, nothing's happening in the nepotism tribe. So the favorites win reward. They get uh, chips and peanut butter and jelly. Good for them. Who cares? I mean, Garfield already ate it, so it, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. And now we hot hit the immunity challenge, and it looks like the team that won the reward did not win immunity. They were probably really sluggish from all those greasy chips. And we are looking at uh, the tribe of mostly winners is again going to tribal council. The one I problem with this is that... there's the double idol in this tribe. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're definitely just throwing the game. I, I, their, their plan is to throw the game. This is definitely a maxing situation. So, 
on the winner's stripe, Tenzin is impressing the rest of the team. I I guess he like maybe airbended a a, how, a monkey out of a tree and they cooked it. But uh, he's actually like telling that. them what really happened to Zuko's mother. Oh no! No, he he's he's finally revealing to the fans what happened to Aang. <laughs> Tenzin's like, hey, everybody, if you promise not to vote me out, I'll tell you what happened to Aang and Sokka. <laughs> and then Bench and Tenzin have a minor disagreement. What? Well, well, he bench. probably didn't cook enough monkey for the, uh, for the bench. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Bench traveled Tenzin to a rigid off, and Tenzin was bothered by Bench's willingness to be unflinching. I have... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, rigid. I, I assumed you initially meant a location instead of just who's the most rigid. No. So yeah, I, I'm okay with that. Be Bench is upset at how like inflexible Tenzin is as a person because he's like, I'm supposed to be inflexible. I'm made out of metal. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and Tenzin keeps asking him to metal bend. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks Bench is a metal bender. He's like, you're made of metal. Metal bend for me. That's racist. Hey, we didn't say But fitting. Tenzin. Okay, let, let's just proceed. Tenzin's a disappointment of a person. <laughs> On the favorites tribe, Crocker has an idol, Kaguya has an idol. Jazz and Kaguya find something in common. I think we've already established it's both of them want to fuck Zuko. Yeah. And they're bonded yeah. over it. Which is dangerous. It is. And then Garfield is impressing the rest of the team. They're impressed on how fast you down those chips. <laughs> They're just like, thanks, thanks for eating those chips, Garfield. Good job. And he's just like, hey guys, whatever. And now Dexter and Psyduck find something in common. Okay, so this huh. is the part of the story where we find out that Dexter is a functional alcoholic, but has been hiding it all this time. How else does he fun how how else does he deal with being freakazoid? I mean, like that whole him knowing how to start fires thing is really what happens when he gets drunk and blacks out. Okay, so his he, his power comes from alcohol, not the internet. Yeah, I mean, it might be a bit of both. That uh, does not sound accurate, but let's go for it. I was gonna say both of them play like totally random games. So Dexter's like, oh, I love 60 chess. And Sadek's like, fuck yeah, let's do this. Let's roll this game out. But anyway, we're at the favorites tribe. Oof, this is, uh, I'm a little worried here. Me too. I think we're going to see some idle shenanigans. Uh, I'm, I'm saying Garfield goes out. Me too. I want it to be Garfield, but if they go for Crocker and he idles... We might lose Zuko. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe Kaguya will idle in response. She'd idle for Zuko. It yeah. really cement their relationship and establish once and for all that she is Zuko's but, main bitch. But they don't they don't know Crocker's got an idol, do they? Well, I mean, if Crocker plays the idol, she can play the idol. Mm, this is fair. All right, well. I don't really know how Brant Steel programs, but in theory, that would work. <sighs> Let's find it out. It looks like Chad is super against Crocker, though, so... Yeah, but okay. kind of what happens. He's he's safe this time. No one plays an idol. Oof. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Maybe maybe Crocker's gone. First vote Garfield. Ooh. Our boy. I I mean, I I don't want to lose him, but only because I was a big fan of Naota last time. <laughs> and Garfield was Naota's ride or die. So I'm on Team Garfield because I'm on Team Naota. <clears throat> this one's gonna work. Second vote, Crocker. Uh oh. Split the vote. Third vote, Garfield. Yeah. Fourth vote, Garfield. Garfield yeah. voted out four to one. We called it, boys. Yeah. Ooh. Got rid of the refrigerator thief. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He was Croc Crocker saw the writing on the wall. Definitely. He knew he had huh? to vote. Crocker saw the writing. He knew he had to vote against Garfield. I mean, it's not like they were friends. Crocker left Garfield's alliance. Yeah, exactly. So, 
Crocker, Crocker will take his own tribe out. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> this is. I just. This feels very Crocker like. I just really hope this tribe doesn't go to council again. I I can't handle it. No. So they come back. Garfield's gone. Does anybody care? Absolutely not. Okay. I mean, so, so Dexter me? and Trotkoon, who were on a season with Garfield and Freakazoid, are just like, okay. Dexter cool. might care. He's such an alcoholic now, so they're hoping he'll go to AA and get himself taken care of. I thought Psyduck was the alcoholic. <laughs> are you confusing them because they're both orange? Everyone's alcoholic. <laughs> No, it's because he spent time with Psyduck, and Psyduck's a bad influence on him, and he didn't have enough food. You were never on the same tribe, Blake. But they were on the same island. <laughs> the tribes don't hang out with other tribes. It's you don't think that happens. You won't let us watch the live feed for reasons you've yet to explain. There aren't live feeds in Survivor. This isn't Big Brother. Well, I feel lied to. You are proceed so we've still got some alliances going here bench jackie and freakazoid like each other a lot <laughs> um we've still got got our mega alliance rolling on the favorites <laughs> tribe yeah this is uh this is still a strong alliance Oof. and the nepotism tribe has nothing going on though tenzin and charizard fucking love each other now they're um, a separable duo of benders Tenzin was looking for his Zuko, and he couldn't get the real thing, but he got Charizard. Yeah, the real thing belonged to his dad. Yeah, just like he's not the best airbender. <laughs> so we have a reward competition, uh, headlong flight, flights in the name. So obviously Truck Coon's team loses. He's a truck. He can't fly. Even though Charizard's on his team. Uh, Charizard just didn't feel like winning this one for everyone. I mean, yeah, Charizard they, doesn't give a shit. No, nah, he doesn't want coffee. He he only he only pulls it out when he wants to. Exactly. It's it's iced coffee too. Why would he want that? I mean, to be fair, Freakazoid heard coffee and got unnaturally excited. <laughs> yeah, Zuko though heard tea brewing supplies and realized he did not want to win. He was like, "You're just reminding me of Uncle and my disappointment and my shame." Yeah, I mean, he's still probably upset that he had to vote Uncle out in the Avatar season. Yeah, that was, that, that was tragic. And then the immunity, thank God, favorites win. Whew. Well, that was that was going to be the worst situation. But but Trukun. Yeah, I mean, Trukun Trukun might go. We don't know, but it was a rice race. Don't know what that means. Oh, swim out to a boat. Yeah, he's he, a truck. Truck didn't do so well on that. I mean, they had Truck Coon and Charizard, both of whom we've already established hate water. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, see what's going on with the tribes. Bench and Haruko find something in common. <sighs> Probably that they voted each other out last game. Well, and Haruko realized that she could pick up Bench and use Bench as a baseball bat. Okay, so so bench is her new guitar. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'm in. Uh, bench and Freakazoid have a major fight. Oh. They had an alliance going. Is this really happening? Not anymore, apparently. I mean, I think I think what happened was Freakazoid had a lot of coffee and got really caffeinated, and then wouldn't sit on bench, so bench got upset. That is exactly what happened. Okay. And Freakazoid has abandoned Bench and Jackie Chan. Oh, no. It's uh, not good for my boy and whoever was rooting for Bench. I don't remember who that was. I was rooting for Bench because somebody had to. I mean, Blake, you're the one who requested Freakazoid be here, and you're not rooting for him, so. Yeah. Just because I want him here doesn't mean I want him to win. <laughs> God, you're the worst. Well, I want <laughs> Truck to win. I appreciate that in this fight, Jackie has sided with Bench, the one who took him out, and not Freakazoid, the one who wasted an idol on him. Okay, to be fair, Jackie Chan saw Freakazoid use Bench as a coaster, and that was just beyond reproach. That's reasonable. Yeah, that's that's high disrespect. It's like Freakazoid is a monster. Exactly. I hope they throw the next challenge to vote him out. In the favorites tribe. 
is they if they have idols, good for them. Truck finds an idol. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Good boy. Fantastic. Truck coon. Um, has I'm, I'm loving an it. Idol. This is better than McDonald's. Chat is on this shit. Yeah. And we get a new alliance between Dexter, Psyduck, and Kagome. Oof. Truck's going to need that uh, idol. He really is. I mean, this is kind of a shit alliance, but we'll go with it. Still an alliance. So, Dexter, Kagome, and Psyduck are in an alliance. Truck Kun has an idol. Who's going home? Oof. I mean, Kagome. I feel like the idol's coming in here. I, I would not be shocked. Because so you think we're Truck Kun is on the chopping block, so he's going to idle. I think we're going to see an idle play, so I don't know who. Okay. I'm going to guess Dexter. I'm going with Kagome. Uh, I thought Truck Kun and Dexter were buds. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Tr- yeah, I'll go with Psyduck. I'm going to say Kagome. I think Truck's going to vote out Kagome. Okay. And yeah. Truck plays the idol. Oh, boy. Just finds it, immediately plays it. Well, this was the time for it. Just like gasoline. He needed it. First vote, Charizard. Okay. Okay. Second vote, Kagome. Yeah. There we go. Third vote, Kagome. Yeah. yeah. Fourth vote, Charizard. No. So we have one vote left, and we know it's Charizard. So oh. Charizard has been voted out. He has again failed to make the merge. Charizard and Truck. Him and Truck couldn't vote So together. if they if they went for Truck over Charizard, they would have had Kagome. Yeah, they would have. Truck couldn't yeah. uh, made a wrong idol play. So I don't know. I still think it needed to happen. He was too too close to death. Yeah. How? Okay, so Nepotism yeah. Tribe has returned. Tra- uh, Charizard is gone. What is Tenzin's reaction to this situation? He's probably devastated. Yeah, Tenzin, Tenzin is trying to figure out how to suck the oxygen out of people's heads right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so Tenzin is figuring out how to just straight up murder Kagome. Because now that he's lost all that mattered to him, he can fly. Oh, no. Hmm. So Tenzin has achieved enlightenment, and he is now going to win the game in a 10-0-0 vote. He's looking at Zuko, and he's thinking, what if I kill him? But Zuko didn't even vote Charizard out. Doesn't matter. Zuko exists, and Zuko represents his father. Okay, that's reasonable. Okay. So uh, Tenzin's on the warpath. We still have our Bench Jackie Chan Alliance going. We still have uh, all of these fucking Kaguya Zuko alliances. We're in. Yeah, Zuko's harem is just rolling through this shit. Just yeah. hello, Zuko here. Got got my girls. I, I think uh, in this case, it's more like, hey, Zuko here. Yeah. So you're saying he's gotten more smooth since the last time he played? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows what he is. Just, hey, girls. Zuko hey, 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 you like the scar? Everyone loves the scar. <laughs> you can touch it. <laughs> it flaky sometimes. Oh, God. He needs to moisturize the scar. You want a souvenir? <laughs> Is it going to be a scar? <laughs> can he give it to Kagome? <laughs> I was thinking scab flakes, but that works too. Okay, on the nepotism tribe, we have Dexter, Kagome, and Psyduck. And yeah. then we've hit the first, the reward challenge, which is attention span, and Freakazoid somehow wins a reward. <laughs> I don't know. Just go with it. I think yeah, we'll just go with it. You got a pizza. Made that work. They, they win one pizza to share between the five of them. Like that's oh, just like is already pizza. pizza. <laughs> And then with the immunity challenge, it looks like uh, this fucking ticking time bomb is again not going off. Woo-hoo! Woo! As we get to disky business. And that the uh, pull on ropes and uh, who gives a shit? What's important is Jackie Chan's team lost, so I'm very upset. 
Bench and Freakazoid find something in common. Are they making up finally? Yeah, maybe. I, I think that Freakazoid made a coaster. He was like, here, Bench, I promise I'll use a coaster on you from now on. And it looks like they have formed an anti-Jackie Chan alliance. Everyone on the tribe is in an alliance except Jackie Chan. Oh, no. How could this happen? I'm not okay with this. My boy needs to make the merge. Uh-huh. Fucking Freakazoid, why'd you have to bond with Bench, you piece of shit? One of the favorites tribe, nothing happened. Uh, the Nepotism tribe, Dexter and Psyduck bond slightly. I think I think their bond of love of six-dimensional chess is just going to keep growing. <laughs> or in uh, Blake's headcanon, their mutual alcoholism. You know, I'm sorry. I think the likelihood of Dexter being a secret alcoholic is far more enticing than the likelihood of Psyduck playing six-dimensional chess. See, here's the thing, Blake. You just didn't listen to the Pokemon episode wherein Psyduck no, was a clear strategist. Oh, I'm sure. But right now he's an alcoholic, so I don't care. That's uh, that's that's rude. That he's an alcoholic? It is, and he should really make amends with his family. Okay, so Jackie's going home, right? <laughs> like, there, any other outcome? Yeah, Jackie Chan's going home. Freakazoid made up some stuff about Jackie Chan. They all think he said horrible things about them. Basically, yeah, no, I think what Freakazoid did was just tell everyone, did you know that Jackie Chan supports the Chinese government? Oh, perfect, yes. So now that everyone in the game knows Jackie's a big supporter of the Chinese government that are conspiring to take him out, first vote Tenzin. Well, that was probably Jackie's vote. Yeah, second vote Bench. What the fuck is happening? All right, I don't know what's happening anymore. That was Freakazoid's vote. <laughs> they bonded. Freakazoid yeah. made a coaster. Why would he vote out Bench? Two, it's because it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a false Third sense of vote confidence. Tenzin. Do they not know how to play Survivor? What the they heck? made an anti-Jackie Chan alliance, and he hasn't received a vote yet. To be fair, they think alliance means, like, friends to go to the bathroom and stay safe, so. So everybody go Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so an alliance is friends to keep each other safe, and they didn't include professional martial artist yes, Jackie but Chan. He has ties with the Chinese government. How can they trust him? I don't know. You can beat them up either way. What's it matter? <laughs> What's he going to do? Side with the, like, jaguars? You, you never know. The jaguars might have resources China needs. Vote for Jackie Chan. Okay. No! Two votes Tenzin. One vote Bench. One vote Jackie Chan. What the fuck is this shit? And the, the fifth vote is Jackie Chan. So we're in a tie between Jackie and Tenzin. Uh, I don't like this. Whoever With... voted for Bench is breaking this tie. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> First vote, Jackie. Second vote, Tenzin. Okay. And the next person voted out of Anime Survivor is Tenzin! Woo! Holy boy! I didn't believe. He made it! He made Ten, it! Much like your birth, you lose again. I'm so happy. So how did how did Haruko, this vote go? Bench? Haruko saved Jackie. Bench and Jackie voted together. Freakazoid wow. and Tenzin voted together. And then Haruko initially voted for Bench because she still has bloodlust over Bench taking her out. And she changed her vote to Tenzin because she's still in love with Jackie. They were in an alliance their first game. They're going to work together again. It's going to happen. She was fucking bluffing. The anti-Jackie yep. alliance. Haruko is the true six-dimensional chess player here tonight. I don't know what the 
fuck happened? Okay, so we have 12 people left. That sounds like it's time, excuse me, for a merge with our final 12 players. Ooh. So let's see what's happening in this tribe. Crocker and Kaguya have idols. We have the Jazz Kaguya Zuko Alliance of uh, Zuko's Harem. So this is the Zuko's Harem Alliance. Yep. We have uh, Bench and Jackie. What should we call this one? The, I don't even know. The uh, Season 1 Alliance? Yeah, yes. sure. Yeah, yes. yeah. this is the, yeah. the Season 1 Alliance. We've got uh, Kaguya Zuko, which is just uh, Zuko's... Me- I don't know. It's Zuko After Dark. <laughs> Zuko After Dark. And then we have Dexter Kagome Psyduck, which I don't even want to name because it doesn't Hot make and sense. Bothered. Hot, Hot and bothered. Hot and bothered. Hot and bothered. Okay. We're not going to remember any of this, but it's hot and bothered. And then we have Bench Freakazoid Haruko, which. Uh, Left the, field. The, the, the pro Jackie Chan. <laughs> I, let's call it Benches Bros. Yeah. Benches Bros. Benches Bros. Okay. I dig it. We're never going to remember these, but I, I like to try to name alliances. Makes them feel more official. It could be two freaks in a chair. Could hey. be. But what's important here, and I think this is what everybody is going to appreciate, is Truck Kun wins immunity. Yeah. Using a centrifugal force, the castaways must keep a ball spinning within a wheel as they stand on a balance beam. Okay, which well, I guess is easy. something Truck Coon is good at. He just goes on his side, and then his wheel is everything that needs to happen. I mean, so they probably yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know how he stuck it on a balance beam, but he did it. So to be fair, he accidentally ran into every other member on the island before this challenge. So that they'd all have a gimp leg. Okay, so he he sakied the whole cast. Yeah, he was stuck like stuck on another this? island with my survivor cast. That's that's what we're on. Yeah. And now everyone on the cast is in a cast. It's a cast of cast. Yeah, Freakazoid and Truck Coon have a small fight. Obviously, Freakazoid is not okay with being run over. Yeah, of course. I think we can all. And you should that. get over it. I mean. He won't, but he could. We can dream. And it looks like Bench's bros dissolved. They had one goal. It was to vote out Jackie Chan. They couldn't do it, so they just they just quit. So, sorry, Bench's bros. You can only work with Haruko for so long, Bench. So we're going to proceed. The lines got benched. Who's getting voted out? I... <laughs> I have no idea. Tagia and Crocker uh, have idols. Uh, Freakazoid. Freakazoid? Freakazoid, yeah, sure, I let's mean, go. He's been running around in his underwear, so why not? Let's see. First vote, Dexter. That's like <laughs> voting for Freakazoid. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is just going to be a uh, shit show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it probably is. We have a lot of tiny alliances. There won't be strategy here. Yeah, this this isn't. We don't have a major alliance. I'm very upset. Second vote, Jackie Chan. God damn. Hey, what's that about? That's not okay. Oh boy. This isn't well, they fair. Tell about his ties to China, and they're very nervous. <laughs> okay, third vote, Harco. What the fuck is happening? Okay. What is this? Called it. <laughs> I don't want any of these three gone yet. Vote out Freakazoid. Fourth vote, Jackie Chan. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Fifth vote, Jackie Chan. Whoa. Sixth vote, Dexter. So we're six votes in, three votes Jackie, two votes Dexter, one vote Haruko. Okay. Six votes left. Okay. Haruko. Okay. Okay, so it's three. Haruko. Three, three, two? Yeah, three, three, two. Four for nope. Jackie. So we're three votes left. Four votes Jackie. Three votes Haruko. Two votes Dexter. 
We wanted it to be Freakazoid, and our dream did not come true. Dexter gets a third vote. Okay. Oh, boy. And the final vote goes to Jackie Chan is voted out. No! Final two votes. Our boy, Jackie, voted out 6-3-3. He's just too strong. You can't let him make it past the merge. <clears throat> so, Dexter was voted out by Bench, Haruko, and Jackie. To be fair, Jackie Chan kept talking about the one China policy and it made everyone very uncomfortable. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not denying that Jackie made everyone uncomfortable with his defense of Chinese concentration camps for Muslims. Yeah. He shouldn't have done that. No. And should he be canceled? I don't know, maybe, but I still didn't want him voted out. Too this soon. is this is wholesome Jackie Chan adventures Jackie, not real world terrible Jackie. They're different. I guess not in this case. So Dexter votes, yeah. Uh, Haruko votes came from Freakazoid, Kaguya, and Zuko here. Mm. Which means that Jazz did not vote with Kaguya and Zuko. Oh, that separate alliance clearly got in the way. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. So we've got 11 left. Uh, they took out Jackie, which I guess frees Bench up. He doesn't have an alliance anymore. As these are our only alliances now. We've got Jazz, Kagi, and Zuko. So well, this Z is a twist. Zuko's harem. Zuko at night. And uh, what what was the final one? What were we calling it, Blake? Uh, hot and bothered. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So we have Zuko's harem, Zuko at night, and hot and bothered. This is this is our game. And I mean, I guess we should give congratulations to Kagome for making the merge this time. She failed to do that last time. And she also looks like she has a strong relationship with alcoholic Psyduck for what that's worth. I mean, I think we should congratulate Psyduck for staying in an alliance. <laughs> hey, man, he just had to find an alliance that accepted him for him. Actually, her for her, Psyduck is coded as a woman in this. Oh, good. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Psyduck is a wine mom. <laughs> Somehow makes more sense. It does. <laughs> so we have an air raid as a challenge, and Truck Coon wins somehow. It's, it's a race. It's an air raid. Uh, Must raid. Oh, okay. He just knocks. Race. He just runs down the tower. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and he just ran over the target, so he got it by default. Zuko probably shot them all with his firebending. He got it back now that Tenzin's gone. <laughs> sure, that checks out. And he, he's got his uh, Katara here with Psyduck. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that, that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, Truck Coon can go fast enough to create, like, um, a draft. So Truck Coon is an honorary airbender. So <laughs> going I strong sense. there. I guess we're not going to talk about how Truck Coon killed Appa. <laughs> Appa had it coming. We you all know Appa had it coming. spot, Appa. So Mr. Crocker wins immunity. Because <laughs> he needed that. I mean, to be fair, like, Crocker's game is garbage. He needs anything he can get. He uh, stands on a narrow beam and uses long pole to balance a statue. And he just sat there and thought about fairies the whole time. So good for Mr. Crocker. Well, I mean, it's a skill that somebody who lives at home would have, you know. <laughs> lives with his mom. Yeah. Uh, he, de he definitely lives. I don't know if he canonically lives with his mom, but in my head canon, Mr. Crocker definitely lives with his mom. Oh, he, he does. He does. Googled you Googled it? Yeah, because I was like, I don't know anything about I, I watched enough of that show. He absolutely lives with his mother. Yeah. When they fast forward 40 years forward, she's uh -huh. still alive, and he's still living in her basement. How old is he at that point? 80? Uh, Crocker looks identical. Nobody knows. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so Crocker and Kaguya have idols. Dexter and Truck Coon find something in common. Will this relationship finally blossom into a new alliance? No. No? I don't believe. 
Oh, I'm on Team Kaguya now, by the way. Fair. Now that, now that uh, Jackie has left me, I'm on Team Kaguya. Yeah, you know, I think uh, they both like to avoid the police whenever possible, and that's what that was. That's all it is. <laughs> did Did Dexter take Truckoon for a solid drunk driving? Oh yeah, and it was the biggest thrill of Truckoon's life. He was so excited when he ran over that. Uh, he ran over a stop sign, you know. <laughs> there aren't stop signs on the island, Blake. There are now. <laughs> he ran over a producer. <laughs> well, they're kind of like stop signs. So Jazz impresses the rest of the team. I think what she did was uh, she gave everyone a Myers-Briggs test. That checks out. And that, that, that seems like a Jazz thing to do, and the cast of Survivor seems shallow enough to appreciate it. To be fair, they kind of forgot she was there, and they were like, oh my god, you scared me. So. Ah, Jazz! And then uh, Crocker and Kagome bond strongly. <laughs> this probably has to do with the fact that Kagome is very familiar with magic. And Crocker just found that out, so they started discussing magic. He's very interested, yeah. And, like, Crocker's used to talking to a woman who will be yelling at him through half the conversation because of his living arrangements, so. Yeah. I appreciate uh, Chat's take on Dexter Truckoon was that Dexter took Truckoon driving through an orphanage and they just isekai hundreds of children. Oh, no. That that means we have, like, next, next anime season is going to be nothing but trash isekai again. Wait, wait, that's not every anime season? I wish. I we wish don't. it wasn't. We have a mega alliance, boys. Oh, boy. Oh, it's oh. happening. And Psyduck and found his way in. Bench and truck. Bench and truck coon together at last. <sighs> but truck coon uh, doesn't Crocker. seem very loyal. Oh, no, he, he, he does not give a shit. Um, but uh, this is this is this something's alliance happening. And that's what's important. Can vote pretty hard. Oh yeah, they control the majority, but like, there's no loyalty here. I mean, right? Jasmine's just a mole for Zuko. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jasmine's just there to keep Hello Zuko here safe, and Sidex just there to keep Hot and Bothered safe. Yeah. So and Finch couldn't just needed new friends after you know what happened. Yeah. So let's uh, let's proceed. So with the first vote, hmm. since you know Jackie got voted out, I think Dexter might go. Yeah, I'm feeling it. He's not in. I feel like that alliance is going to stick together for at least one vote. So it's probably Dexter or Freakazoid. Yeah, I'm leaning yeah. Freakazoid again, just because like no one likes him. I'm leaning Freakazoid as well. Like, De Dexter, you can just take him to the end. He's a goat. So, so Freakazoid it is. No one plays an idol. First vote, Freakazoid, we did it! We called it. He's out. Wait, there are ten more votes. Second vote, truck <gasps> Your boy. Your boy, Andrew. No. How Third vote, Freakazoid. Fourth vote, Freakazoid. Okay, I'm, I'm, like, vote, I'm liking this a lot more. Sixth vote, free and Freakazoid is voted out 10 to 1. Oof! Yeah. Everyone, Nobody aside, everyone voted him. Oof. So we're in the final 10 in All-Stars. Kagome just making it further and further every minute. It's good for Same her. Same with my boy truck Coon. Yeah, but Truck Coon's made it to the final three before. Kagome didn't even make the merge. This is fair. <laughs> I think I think final ten is when Haruko got voted out, though, so she needs to keep her eyes open. So, uh, still, Crocker and Kaguya have idols. We have the Jazz, Kaguya, Zuko alliance. Yeah, so, a harem too Zuko's strong. Harem and Zuko at night. Hot and bothered. And uh, the All Stars Alliance. I'm just going to call it the All Stars Alliance. Now, who's not in an? Everyone's in an alliance. All of the final ten. Uh huh. 
So it comes down to, is Jazz better at protecting Zuko's harem, or is Psyduck better at protecting Hot and Bothered? Yeah. Huh. Or will the Alliance collapse in on itself? I'm going for collapse. Thank you, chat. Yes, yes, chat, you're right. They did get tired of Freakazoid trying to make meth out of coconuts and salt water. Yeah, that sounds like something he'd do. So we have uh, the dad joke of all dad jokes for a challenge called Hear About It Ladder. Woo! So Woo. which which team? I, I'm, I'm betting the team that makes the daddiest dad joke would win. Ooh. And I think that's Crocker's team. Yeah, Crocker and Zuko bring it yeah. in. Okay, let's see. They did not bring it in. Oof. So uh, being good at dad jokes is clearly I, I think Dexter carried it home. De yeah, Dexter made some dad jokes. Yeah. He did win immunity. Ooh. So good for him. He's on fire. He, he had to just squat for a long time, and he was like, this is my normal computer position. <laughs> so I'm fine. Good job, Dexter. So Crocker and Kaguya still have an idol. Uh, Dexter and Psyduck have a minor <laughs> disagreement. Obviously, Psyduck was drinking too much of the alcohol. He wasn't sharing. Well, Psyduck... Psyduck found his flask. Ooh. Found Dexter's flask? Yeah. Well, that'd be a major fight, though. So you're saying she drank Dexter's flask? Exactly. Classic wine mom. And Jazz and Psyduck bond strongly. They're both duplicitous. I mean, like, how, how is Jazz duplicitous? They are both spying for other alliances on the All Star Alliance. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So they're they're both they bonded over the fact that they actually have side alliances they're more loyal to. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. And Trakun has abandoned the All Star Alliance. Oh, oh. Trakun is going off road. That's uh, that's a bad. <laughs> off-road with this strategy yeah, this was uh, not the time truck kun not the time i, I think i think truck kun just still doesn't know what to do without taiju i think taiju centered him i think you're right he's he has so, and, been a little chaotic since but but his buddy bench could should have had given him some guidance but it just wasn't they weren't friends oof like they, they aren't friends no but we have a new alliance and it's oh, God. Glasses? <laughs> Team glasses. None of these folks would win a track star competition. <laughs> I appreciate chat has already uh, decided Truck Coon is out. Yeah, if Truck Coon gets voted out, I'm going to go grab a Mike's Hard Lemonade that's just like rotting in the garage just, just to feel bad. Okay, that's reasonable. I mean, I ate some silica gel packets. Maybe they'll start kicking in soon, and that'll be my moment. Um, but but here's, I think, what is interesting is because Bench and Crocker are in that big alliance, and now they're in this sub-alliance with Dexter, who is also in Hot and Bothered with Sadek and Kagome. So I think Dexter is actually relatively insulated now. Yeah, Dexter's in a good spot. Somehow. Somehow. He's yeah. goading too hard. They just everybody just wants to keep him around. So I don't know, maybe maybe he'll make it. Maybe we can see uh, Dexter win again and we'll be very confused. That would be they'll nice. They'll go to rocks. Uh, Dexter loves rocks. Less nice. So proceed. Who's going home? I mean, it's Trotkin, right? It's truck. I don't want it's it to truck. be truck, -kun, but I think it's truck. I'm gonna say Haruko just because I don't want it to be truck. -kun. And she went out in the final ten in her season. Let's see what happens. Nobody plays an idol. First vote is Haruko. Ooh. Andrew, you did it. Oof. I don't Second think. Second vote is Kagome. Excuse me. Yeah. Third vote is truck. -kun. Oh no. It's happening, boys. Don't. Fourth vote is Haruko. Mm. Four votes down. Five to uh, six to go. Fifth vote is Trotkun. No. 
So we're two Trotkun, two Haruko, one Kagome, because nobody knows how to play Survivor. Next vote is Trotkun uh, three. Uh, Trotkun is voted uh, out. Uh, okay, two. Max. I'll be back. Nine. You shouldn't okay, have gone off. I, I, I will return. Okay. Blake. Yes. Truckoon has left us. That is true. Truckoon. How uh -huh. goes the 40? Pouring it out. I mean, it was inevitable when he went on an open road. Yeah. So Dexter was our, our Kagome vote, which makes sense because Dexter uh, never votes for what he should vote for. No. And then Kagome voted for Haruko and Trekkun voted for Haruko. Yep. So uh, that's, uh, that's what happened. We're in the final nine. Haruko has uh, survived her first pitfall. Trekkun has made his third best game out of four. And uh, let's see, we still have uh, four winners left. All right, Max, I'm back, and I have okay. I have trashy hard lemonade. Okay, so it's interesting. Wallow in regret. The first two players that have been voted out were winners, and now we're in the final nine, and we still have the same four winners. Yeah, they they throw the first two rounds to make everyone think they're harmless. Yeah, and, and apparently it works because nobody's voting them out. Zuko's harem's holding together strong, and Dexter's just making his own way in the world. To be fair, they're doing what parasites do best. I mean, Dexter's the only one who's parasiting here. Zuko's harem is playing a pretty reliable game. So, uh, so Zuko's harem. We still have Zuko at night. We have Hot and Bothered. Let's all appreciate that Dexter did vote out his alliance member. Oh, yeah. No, that alliance is tenuous at best. I, I don't know. The loyalty is pretty high. Hmm. Yeah, but this game seems to be doing what it wants, regardless of loyalty. That's pretty true. I mean, Dexter, I think we've all just come to realize he's a, he's a fucking wild card. Well, they took... Psyduck drank his flask, so he's pretty feral at the moment. <laughs> and so he voted for Kagome. But nobody's more wild than Psyduck. Yeah. And then we have the uh, All-Star Alliance. They are still in the majority. So they can kind of do whatever they want, I guess. And then we have the, uh, the Team Glasses. Yeah. yeah. And this is interesting. Dexter is more loyal to Hot and Bothered, but Crocker is more loyal to Glasses than he is All-Star. So I, I don't know what that means, but... I'm just happy there's enough like weird shit. Going I think it's on. time for Zuko's harem to start getting dismantled. That's what I think is going to happen here. Don't say that. I'm on Team Zuko. I harem. know. I want it to. Ha I don't want it to happen. But now that Truck Kun's gone, there's no there's no other easy targets. I mean, Jazz can I, keep them. Jazz might be able to keep them alive. I mean, I don't know. I think Bench's boys is a tenuous thing at best. Oh yeah. Wait. Which were we calling this one? Bench's boys. I assume so. Well, it's uh, I thought we were calling it Team Glasses. Whatever. Team Glasses, Benches Boys, I don't I care. Like I like Benches Boys more. They've extended themselves. Yeah. Benches Boys, I like it. Yeah, I mean, because the thing is, so if we have an all-star vote and Jazz defects to Zuko's harem, that's 4-3 with Dexter and Kagome in the middle. Yep. So, I mean, in theory, they can take them apart still. I don't know. We'll see. Kagome wins a reward and she shares it with uh, Psyduck, Dexter, and Jasmine. They win an aerial tour of the island and have cheeseburgers and beer. Obviously, Psyduck and Dexter get shit-faced drunk. Yeah. And throw up right. during the aerial tour. But they get letters from home. Uh, so Kagome's letter, I assume, is from Shippo. And it's just asking for snacks. Uh, Psyduck's letter is from Misty, presumably telling Psyduck to stay on the island and never come home. No, it's an intervention letter. <laughs> it 
Please from Psyduck sponsor. <laughs> Tell, telling Psyduck that the, he, he or she can see exactly what Psyduck's doing this whole time. We've been watching the episode, Psyduck, we know you're still drinking. <laughs> you're not getting your one-year chip. Uh, Dexter's is from the girl from uh, Freakazoid, whose name I can never remember. And it's just her saying how much she loves Freakazoid. Yeah. And Jazz's letters, obviously, from her parents talking all about uh, how many ghosts are probably on that island. <laughs> and Jazz is just like, Mom, Dad, we're not playing on Ghost Island again. There aren't ghosts. What are you talking about? Quality commentary definitely needed. Let's keep moving. Jazz wins immunity. Ooh. Thank goodness. She didn't need it, but she won it. Yeah. Uh, this is Jazz's first immunity win because she did not win immunity on her season. No. So uh, Crocker and Kagi still have idols. There is no hidden idol. Zuko has a major meltdown. Uh oh. Oh no. I mean, he did just lose his Airbender and Truck Coon. So he did. I don't. I don't know. Maybe he just he woke up one morning. And someone's he, like, Zuko, how are you feeling? And he was like, most mornings I feel like, hello, Zuko here. But this morning I feel like, goodbye, Zuko gone. I I think he's just still really upset that Av Team Avatar wouldn't accept him when he first showed up. And that resentment's been fueling and building throughout this entire competition. Okay. You mean from, from the first episode he was in? Yes. Okay. He was in an alliance with Team Avatar. Yes, but like he's been he's been trying to be the more mature adult, and now he's just like, fuck these people. Makes sense. Kagome and Kaguya have a minor disagreement. Uh-oh. It's not a good play for Kaguya, but this make this is Kagome's MO fighting with fucking everybody. Yep. Yep. All Kagome does is pick fights. Such a butt. And then Dexter has abandoned Bench's Boys. So Bench's Boys is now just Crocker and Bench. Makes sense. I mean, De Dexter's just a fickle little bitch. So let's, he is. let's see what happens. Huh? He is indeed. He probably got drunk on the bench. And they were just like, we don't need you here. So, we're in the final nine. Jazz has immunity. Who's getting voted out? Uh, I don't want to say it, but uh, Zuko. I feel like it's Dexter. So do I. But he, I think is, it's isn't Dexter. he still on the, uh, the Psyduck Alliance? Yeah, he is. But he did just abandon Bench and Crocker, so they might be targeting him more aggressively. This is fair. I could, I could, I could, I can love that idea because I don't want Zuko to. Okay. Move. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to lose Hello Zuko here yet anyway, and I feel like Dexter is a mistake of a winner, so I'm okay with him going. So let's see. Crocker plays an immunity idol on bench. Oh no! Is God this another damn. bench idol play? Everybody loves playing idols on bench. I don't get what it is. I mean, they Kaguya just, did it the first season. No, Max, Crocker's doing it this they, season. They set down the idol on bench and then just forget about it and don't realize that they're playing it on bench. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah, that makes sense. So Crocker accidentally sets his idol down on bench and then bench activates it. Yeah. Okay. First vote, bench does not count. Bench does not count. Oh, bench no. does not count. Flashbacks. Two, two votes, Dexter. Oh, oh I'm, I'm having flashbacks to the last time we had Bench. Yeah, Bench is just... Bench is the worst. Third vote, Dexter. Yeah, bench and Idol plays. Kagome. Oh. Kagome and Kagome. So we had a three-way tie between Kagome, Dexter, and Bench, but because Bench was idled, it's just a two-way tie between Kagome and Dexter. Man, Bench and these Idol plays. Oof. I mean... 
clearly what happened here was Zuko's harem worked with the All-Star Alliance to take out Kagome or Dexter. Yeah. So Maybe. let's see who's going home. First vote, Dexter. Second vote, Kagome. They need to make up their fucking minds. They won't. I mean, it can't be a tie because there are nine people left, but... So two votes Kagome, one vote Dexter, four votes left. Two and two. Three Kagome, two Dexter, two votes left. And Dexter is voted out four to three. Oof. Well, I... You guys called called it, it, but I didn't believe it. it. Yeah, I didn't believe it either, but you know... There you go. Bench and Dexter, or Bench and Crocker going for Dexter. Yeah, Bench, Crocker, they were upset, so they went for Dexter along with Haruko. We're in Jazz, this... Kaguya, and Zuko. So Zuko's okay. harem voted out Kagome. There we go Psyduck this... Chaos Strat again. There, this means Psyduck is the only alcoholic left. Yeah, I, because, yeah, Hot and Bothered voted out Bench. So, yeah, it's a pretty cut-and-dry situation here. Interesting play. I liked I liked that round. That was a good vote. Good final nine. Weird as shit. Yeah. And we're in the final eight. And our boy Dexter is gone. So let's proceed. Kaguya still has an idol. And uh, Zuko's harem is still going strong along with Zuko at night. Hot and Bothered is looking better than ever now that uh, the flippy little bitch Dexter is gone. <laughs> and then we have... Huh? Psyduck keeps um, keeps enabling Kagome to be as angry about everything as she wants. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Psyduck's like, yes, let the hate flow through you. Psyduck confirmed <laughs> Emperor? Yeah, I can see it. Make for a better new Star Wars movie. And then we have the All-Star Alliance and the Bench Boys. So It's more like the Bench Boy. Crocker's looking pretty disloyal to all stars. And really, the only way that Zuko's harem is going to keep surviving is if this starts falling apart. And if Crocker leaves the all star alliance, I think Zuko's harem has a real chance to run the game. I don't know. Because then it's Jazz, who is more loyal to Zuko's harem. Barely. So then it's 3v3 with Crocker and Kagome in the middle. And Psyduck, who has already demonstrated he, she will vote against the All-Star Alliance. Mm-hmm. So, like, this alliance is running the game, but I feel like it's weaker than it looks. Yeah. That makes well, sense. Well, considering Psyduck voted for Bench. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see that's going to go for the health of the alliance. Let's let's keep moving. We have the Kenny Loggins reward competition. No one gives a shit. No. Psyduck wins immunity. Look at her go. Chaos Strat. Woof. Chaos Strat's paying off big time here. <laughs> without without uh, this is why they got rid of Truck Coon because Truck Coon definitely would have won a contest involving a driving wheel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Haruko and Zuko have a major fight. Uh-oh. Not good. Zuko wouldn't let her in. in. Into the harem? or? Yeah, she wanted into the harem. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Zuko's like, I got enough girls. I don't need you. You're going to hit me with a guitar. And she was like, this is true. Do you, do you know where... Uh, she I still tried know. to hit him with a guitar. Yeah, she did. She did. It was her luxury item. A guitar. She's basically Sonya from Borneo. Bench and Kaguya bond slightly. Uh oh. Are they finally going to remember their friends? Unlikely. Because their their relationship is like forty on a scale of one to fifty. And Haruko and Kagome bond slightly. Um, I'm assuming Kagome comforted Haruko after being rejected by Zuko. Yeah. Absolutely. She's saying she doesn't need Zuko or something like that. You don't need him. It's fun her saying that given her man yeah, was we'll, voted out. We'll fire right. in our own harem with yeah. Huckers and Blackjack. Yeah. 
Us and Psyduck will find our man. Just Psyduck in the background feeling their hate. Yes. So, Psyduck has immunity. Kaguya has an idol. We've got an Rocker. alliance that is the yeah. top row plus Psyduck. An alliance that's Psyduck and Kagome. An alliance that's Jazuko, Kaguya. Who the fuck's going home? I think it's Kagome. I hope it's Kagome. Yeah, me too. It's uh, Team Kagome go home. Or maybe, maybe it'll be Bench. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't, I, don't, with bench going home. I don't think Psyduck and Kagome can pull that out. Yeah. Okay. Kaguya does not use her idol. Interesting. First vote, Kagome. Yep. Second vote, Bench! Oh, Max, how do you call these things? I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm the Chat was also on point. Survivor predictions. I'm, I, it's because I spent all day watching Survivor 30. Because I haven't watched season 30 yet. Third vote, Bench. What is this Fourth vote? Fourth vote, Kagome. Okay, so we're 2-2 two, two, with four votes left. Right? Yes. Fifth vote, Kagome. Sixth vote, Kagome. You know, I don't think I was right. No, definitely not. A seventh vote, yeah, Kagome is voted out 6-2. to two. And was targeted, yes, by Psyduck and... Bench was targeted by Psyduck and Kagome. We, we kind of knew they were going right. to go after Bench. It's just Zuko's harem. You should have flipped and taken out Bench. That was a bad call. No, because then it would have been, but would have been a split vote, and then they would have gone to Rocks. No, it wouldn't have. It would have been five three. Wouldn't it have been four four. No, Zuko's harem's three, because Jazz. Only if Jazz Zuko. flipped, and I don't know if Jazz would flip against Bench. I would have hoped she would have. I feel like this was the time to take Bench out. Kagome was not. Kagome was not in a position to go far. Gotta die sometime. So I, I feel like they removed just a player they didn't need to pull out. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not feeling so good about Psyduck now voting against Bench twice in a row. Yeah. I mean, here's like our alliance setup. We have Zuko's harem still actually not as loyal as they used to be. They're falling apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zuko might be on the prowl for more ladies. Then why would he reject Haruko? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This is maybe he has to approach it. them for his masculinity to work. They, they're just they're losing it. Um, Zuko's side alliance is the same setup, and then we have All Stars and the Bench Bros. And yeah, Crocker's not looking terribly loyal. He's not. Him and Jazz both look like they're going to drop off. And somehow, after voting out Bench twice, Psyduck and Bench are still tight. Right? Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on there. It's It's got to be that, like, they just understood that Psyduck was working with Kagome. Now that Kagome is gone, Psyduck should be loyal to them. Yeah. So they basically dismantled all of the side alliances involving Dexter. I had to go. Let's see who wins me or reward. Jazz wins reward, and she shares it with uh, K uh, Kaguya, Zuko, and Psyduck, her girl. So they get barbecue with their loved one. Zuko yeah. obviously brings Iroh. No questions asked. I there. mean, isn't Zuko the loved one for the other three? <laughs> That is the worst loved ones visit. Side hey, everybody, you get to hang out with Zuko some more. <laughs> He's like, hey, Zuko here. Psyduck brought a bottle of Captain Morgan. I mean, Zuko invited Misty, but Misty didn't come. So Kaguya obviously invited um, the president. She tried to invite Shiragane, but like in this really roundabout way that ended up with her just getting Ishigami instead. <laughs> So she's just upset. And Jazz invited um, probably like a college admissions expert. 
Yeah. Trying to curry favor at the college she's trying to get into. This 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 sounds on point. Yeah. And Psyduck at the dinner threw up on them. <laughs> I mean, of course. Psyduck drank the whole time. She's very upset Misty didn't come. Psyduck wins immunity again. Oh, How does damn. this happen? This is happening. Psyduck is going deep. Oof. This yeah. is... This is an impressive game for Psyduck. Yeah. This was an Winning important one for Psyduck to win. While drunk. Who could have thought? Psyduck found out that she's been fired from her job and she's been kicked out of her apartment, so she really needs this win. Apparently. I, I, I like that Chat's just like, I guess Psyduck's just going to win the game. Maybe. At this point, yeah. At this point. Uh, Jazz and Kaguya find something in common. Again, Zuko. Again. Here. Zuko. Yeah, it's, it, it's Zuko again. It's Def Zuko again. Crocker and Kaguya find something in common. Now, uh, black hair and elaborate really plots? Huh? Black hair and elabor elaborate plots? Oh, yeah, definitely they're scheming. Uh, I did kind of forget Kagi uh, Crocker was still here. So, this is good for him. Reminding me he exists. And Jazz abandons the All-Stars. Uh-oh. So it's it's officially the All Stars versus Zuko's harem. Uh oh, that doesn't and look good for Zuko's harem. It does not. So Psyduck can't be voted out, and we have Jazz, Kagi, Zuko versus the other four. Uh, I don't I think know. It's what's idle time. Happen. Yeah. This, this is, yeah, it's got. They got to start using their idols. Okay, my money is on Haruko. Yeah, let's let's see. Yeah. Well, if, if they need to take out someone important, they need to get rid of Bench. I don't think they're going to get rid of Bench. Yeah. And they keep trying and failing. Yeah. That's fair. I don't know. I really don't know how this okay. is going to go. Kaguya uses her idol on Jazz. Smart. Makes sense. Jazz did just leave the alliance. She's probably the target. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, chat. Kaguya did not idol Zuko. As badly as I mean, she she's already it. been getting it this whole game. That's what their side yeah. alliance is. Yeah. First vote, Jazz does not count. Jazz Ooh. does not count. Jazz does not. Jazz was just saved. And the first yep. vote is Harko. Uh -huh. And Harko's uh -huh. voted out. Boys. Galaxy Brain Max, you got this. Galaxy brained it. Harko. Well, now it's out. now the game's looking a lot more even. Yeah. That was that was an important idol. That that was a clutch play. Leave it to Kaguya to idle her way through the game. Uh, who's so going to go now? I don't know. Kaguya has never played an idol on herself. She always plays it for other people, and she always plays it correctly. Kaguya is a master of anime survivor. Yeah. And just, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I don't know who goes next. Mm -hmm. This is This is all in the fucking air now. We've got two alliances of three. The All-Star Alliance has finally lost power. So. It's just. Yeah, the Zook, Zook alliances <laughs> are all looking way better now. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It's getting uh, interesting. I. Hmm. So no one, no one gives a shit about the reward. Though Jazz and Zuko do take Psyduck instead of Kaguya for what that's worth. They uh, stay at a private island, get a feast. Obviously, uh, Psyduck gets drunk and vomits all over the hotel room. I mean, to be fair, Psyduck does bring the party. Yeah, brings the booze, too. Psyduck's a wine mom. Wine moms don't bring parties. They destroy them. Yeah, but if you're Zuko, that is what a party means. Why the fuck did Jazz invite Psyduck to what could have been her moment? To finally steal Zuko from Kaguya. You don't bring... Well, that's why she didn't bring Kaguya. That. Huh? That's exactly. why she didn't bring Kaguya. She needed someone who would just go get drunk in the corner. Right? She should have brought Crocker. No, because Crocker would have taken the opportunity to scheme that away just because he was bored. Yeah. She should have brought Bench. Bench can't move. They could have just left Bench in another room. <laughs> yeah, but feel bad for Bench. Fools. You can't disbench like that. Psyduck wins immunity again! How does Psyduck keep doing this? <laughs> Master gaming. Call Beast Psyduck. 
Okay, I have a theory. Psyduck is on a little bit of methamphetamine at the same time. <laughs> oh, so Psyduck, probably. What you're saying is Psyduck found Freakazoid's meth stash. Yeah, and he's using it to get, or she's using it to get through the challenges. <laughs> that yeah. Makes sense. She isn't drinking, she, she hasn't been drinking wine. She's been drinking Four Locos. <laughs> <laughs> If Psyduck wins, I'm going to lose my shit. Hey, wine mothers need their due. Uh, no one found the idol. So who goes home? Hmm. Uh, I was going to say Psyduck up until that immunity challenge. I think we're going to rocks. I think we're going to I think, rocks. I think Bench. Yeah, no, rocks are going to happen. Bench goes home? I think Bench goes home. Because okay. Crocker and Psyduck, I don't think... Are, uh, Psyduck might break from Bench. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see it. It could happen, but I, th I, th I think you're right. The rocks. Psyduck, I, Psyduck has no reason to be afraid. Psyduck, if they go to rock, Psyduck doesn't draw a rock. Yeah. So Psyduck has no reason to flip. First vote, Jazz. Second vote, Bench. Yep. So. so we're going to split on Jazz and Bench, it looks like. Next vote is Jazz, then Bench, then Jazz, then Bench. 3-3, three, three, tie vote. Yep. Revote. I bet it's going to be 2-2. Two and two. I bet you're in. right. Okay, let's just fucking scroll it. 2-2! Two and two. Crocker draws a rock! <laughs> well... I suddenly scrolled all the way down. So, Crocker drew the rock. Oof. Well, I... I well. This is good for us. I like this. This is a risky fucking gambit for Zuko's harem because they were, like, I mean, they were either going to lose Jazz or have, like, an auto lose someone or just have a two and three chance of losing someone to Rocks because of how it worked. They went to Rocks, fucking balls out, and Crocker lost. Ooh. So, sucks to be Crocker. Chat, I'm sure you're happy. You've never liked him. But he goes out I'm, on Rocks. I'm pretty Crocker happy about has this. Yet to actually be voted out of Anime Survivor. He went out to fire the first time, and he's going out to rocks the second time. So. Yeah. And Zuko's harem is Ooh. now in the driver's seat. So I think they're going to get rid of Bench if they can. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't know. I would vote out Psyduck if I could. But Psyduck's too chaotic. He might side with you. She, no, you got to take out Psyduck. She is, she is doing so well. Mm, true. Like with all those comp wins, people are going to respect those comp wins. But if Psyduck keeps getting immunity. <clears throat> if Psyduck doesn't win immunity, they should vote her out. Oh, absolutely. All right, well, let's like find out. 100%. Let's find out what happens. Okay. I got to know. I mean, we got to know. So here are our remaining alliances Zuko's yeah. harem going strong. Yep, against the All Stars who have just. Crippled with a clutch is... idol play from Kaguya, followed by a bad rock draw from Crocker. And Psydex just sprawled drunkenly on the bench in the middle of the day. For sure. <laughs> bench is apparently okay with it, with a loyalty of seven. I love that it is Psyduck and Bench, and Psyduck has voted against Bench every chance she's had. <laughs> bench is like, I know what's good for you, even if you don't. Yeah. Zuko wins immunity and, of course, goes on a reward with Kaguya and Jazz, where they uh, eat food in front of Bench and Psyduck. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, that's kind of rubbing it in. But, you know, might as well. And th I, this is Zuko's first immunity win, so good job, Zuko. Zuko was finally here. Yeah, I mean, he went on a streak last time. See how it goes. Uh, idol is hidden, but no one finds it. So I mean, bench is going home, right? Yeah. Oh, they absolutely. They should. They should vote out Psyduck, but they will vote out bench. Yeah, bench <laughs> is just too too good. Yeah. So that's agreement. First vote bench. Yep. Second vote Psyduck. Oh. What is this? Psyduck and bench turned on each other. Maybe we'll find Third out. Vote Psyduck. Psyduck. Oh. oh. Fourth vote Jazz. What? Fifth vote Jazz. What? 
Uh, um, so they were splitting me? the vote, but you can't split the vote with five people. There aren't enough people to do that, uh, really. Okay. Ooh. That was a weird one. I mean, Sidek's going home. Like, Sidek's going to go home two to one. Yeah. First vote, Jazz. Second vote, Psyduck. Third vote, Psyduck. Psyduck goes home two to one. Who the fuck voted out Bench? It was Jazz. Jazz was breaking from the team a little bit. Jazz wanted to vote out Bench. She was like, they keep voting me out. Let's vote out Bench. Bench is in charge. And Kaguya and Zuko were like, no, we're going to lose to Psyduck. I'm not going to fucking lose to Psyduck, that drunk bitch. I mean, Zuko already had a drunk mom in his life, so. Yeah. Was it my mom? Probably. It had the same ending. All so right. So in the final four. Top four. And it's that, Bench, Jazz, Kaguya, and Zuko. So we have a three and four chance of one of the last, one of the winners from last time winning again this time. Well, we know Zuko is going to pick Kaguya. Yeah. Zuko and Kaguya are clearly more loyal to each other. Uh, yep. We're not sure who Jazz or Bench would pick. And we will be going to fire. Like, that's how this season works. Oh, yeah. So there's no vote. And, uh, yeah, this, these two just, they fell back in love after Kaguya saved Jazz. That showed Zuko here that there was true love there. Yeah, she I had guess, the moral character somehow. he needed. She's the what? She had the moral fiber he needed. Yeah, because when I think of selfless individuals, I think of Poggy. Exactly. Exactly. Bench wins immunity! Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Clutch immunity win right at the uh, end from Bench. Uh, who's he going to pick? Jazz? But Jazz was the one who voted on Bench, though. Yeah, but, like, I was, Bench was in an alliance with Jazz? I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. I, I, I don't know. No, nothing happens. Kaguya. Ah, that's right. We forgot. They were, they made friends earlier. Yeah, they're BFFs. Fuck. Bench, Bench brings Kaguya to the end, forcing Jazz and Zuko to make fire. Come on, Zuko. Obviously, Zuko will win at making fire. Right? I mean... <sighs> Assuming he doesn't have a flame out. Or or she doesn't have some gadget. Zuko made Ah, oh, good. He did it. My heart my heart is okay now. Jazz, who was my uh, third pick, is now out. So what that's worth. I don't know. I was just on team Jazz. I mean, I've been rooting for Zuko since Trek went away. Of course you have. I mean Jazz is just like my dark horse pick. I don't know. I felt I feel like she's an undercredited winner. Well, she's gone. Huh? She's gone now. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. We're in our final three. All right. And it's Bench, who Blake has been rooting for the entire time. Oh, yeah. Kaguya and Zuko. I think this is one of the first times that one of our picks has made it to the... Like, one of our first picks has made it to the end. Yeah, this is, I think this is accurate. It's not even common for our second picks to make it to the end. No, it's no, not. It's usually the least likely of the group. Yeah, normally we don't get down to like a winner pick until we're in the final four. So who who do you think's winning this? Ah, uh, I'm gonna say bench. I'm gonna say like bench as well. I feel like it's bench. I don't think Zuko's gonna win. I don't want it to be bench, but it's gonna be bench. I I think Zuko is recognized as a conniving monster by most of the jurists at this point. But he was just with his harem the whole time. He wasn't doing any conniving. He took the harem all the way till the end. At this point, what are they left with? An assumption that he's a mastermind, regardless of the fact that it's clearly Kagaya. 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 Yeah. I can't say no. No, it is clearly she's the mastermind behind this. I mean, look at her. I'm just assuming sexism on the part of the jurors. I mean, that was a big talking point in season 40. Glad so, you're here to tell us yeah, these things, Max. Sorry, I'm just I'm just like looking at the jury and I'm trying to piece it together. I I don't know who Jazz votes for. I think Kagome is going to vote for Kaguya. I think Dexter will vote for Kaguya. 
Uh, Truck Coon did abandon the alliance. So I don't know if Truck Coon would vote for Bench. So I'm just trying to math out if Bench has four votes. Well, I think Psyduck will vote for Bench. Yeah, if, if I, Crocker... I don't know where Psyduck's vote will go. Arthur, vote for Bench, Bench wins. Yeah. I think after all this time of trying to get side uh, get Bench out, Psyduck's just going to concede to Bench. Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, like, Crocker's definitely voting for Bench. No doubt in my mind. Should, should we proceed? Here we yeah. should. What happens? I gots to know. Okay. First vote, Zuko. Okay. Second vote, Kaguya. Yep. Already, Zuko, I don't know. I wouldn't have voted for him. Who's voting for Zuko? Zuko did. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Zuko here. No, it's probably Jazz. I don't know. Maybe she voted for Kaguya. We'll find out. Third vote, Bench. Yep, nice and split. Fourth vote, Kaguya. Fifth vote, Bench. Okay, so we're five of eight, and it's Bench two, Kaguya two, Zuko one. Three votes left. Sixth vote, Bench. Seventh vote, Kaguya. Ooh. We're three, three, one. Tied between Bench and Kaguya. Did Bench manage to beat Kaguya Mm. in Anime Survivor? Are we ready? For the <sighs> final vote. And the winner is Kaguya! Ooh! Oh, fuck girl! Pulling it out against Bench and Zuko. Let's see how that vote broke down. Ooh. Crocker voted for Kaguya, so I already don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, apparently. I thought Crocker was a solid Bench vote. I'm, I'm shocked not. Dexter went for Zuko. I, I mean, know, Zuko didn't Dexter... wrong him. I, I just knew that Dexter wouldn't vote for Bench. Well, Dexter did. No, he didn't vote for Bench. I was right. He just voted for Zuko. Mm. Uh, Freakazoid voted for Bench. Yeah, they were buds. Haruko voted for Kaguya. Mm-hmm. Um, Jazz picked Kaguya. Mm-hmm. Kagome went for Bench. I did not expect that. Yeah. I did not expect Psyduck that. Either. went for bench, which does make sense. That does. So make you, sense. you did, you did accurately predict Psyduck voting for bench, but the fact that the All Star Alliance seemed pretty burned and backed Kaguya in the end is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we did it. Mewtwo's the fan favorite. Yeah, he didn't you do know anything. He was what second out? Yeah. <laughs> he started to Galaxy there. Brain and then got whacked. To be yeah. fair, Mewtwo's turned all the fans into Pokemon and threatened not to turn him back unless they vote for him. I thought he just cloned all of them and had the clones vote instead. I mean, all of, all of this works. Mewtwo had a lot of time. He had like 33 days to figure his shit out before yeah. they, the game was over. I mean, all the fans were Team Rocket employees. <laughs> so, yeah, here, here's... I'm, I'm surprised Zuko's hero made it to the end. I'm very happy they did. Cause sad, but my... Taiju. Yeah, Taiju just got got yeah. immediately. He was excited to get a new season, and then bam, he's canceled. Yeah, he just he got he got Tina Wesson. Yeah, we we lost a lot of like interesting players early on. I wanted to see Garfield and Mewtwo and Taiju go further, but I just I wanted to see everybody go further this season. That's Except why... like Inuyasha, I didn't give a shit about Inuyasha. That's why it's the All Stars season. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. It's like we remember how they played last time. You can't actually program them to play the same way, but we just want to see it again. And I mean, even if Kaguya and Bench didn't have an alliance in the final, in the end, I'm just happy the two of them made it to the end when they couldn't the first time. Yeah, this this was impressive. Yeah. yeah, it was. This was a good game of Anime Survivor. It was. I feel yeah. like we've had some of our games have been pretty shitty. Like the Isekai one made no sense. <laughs> so it was good to like watch through one where we could actually keep track of what was happening. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> there was so much going on with Pokemon, we couldn't keep it straight. Yeah, chat chat was excited for Bench, but G- good game to Kaguya. This this was a very hype episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad All Stars was hype. Psyduck, though, coming in, she got three immunity wins. 
Nice. I mean, that, that's what meth will do for you. <laughs> Apparently. Yep. Jazz won five rewards. <laughs> so it's interesting, though, is because in their seasons, Zuko and Kaguya both made three immunity wins in the final, from the final six on. And, like, Kaguya didn't win a single time, and Zuko only made one immunity win. So it's interesting to see, like, Psyduck be the comp, be, to comp out this time. Well, it just means that past performance doesn't necessarily reflect current outcomes. Yeah. It really doesn't. Uh, almost most of the idols went well, which is good. Uh, Kagome got wrecked in votes, apparently. Let's see. And Kaguya and Zuko never received a vote. Again. Oof, just, just Oof. Damn. Making friends with everyone. They just kept Jazz in front. Jazz ate up 12 votes. I mean, when Zuko here has the same impact of there is no war in bossing, say. Yeah, it, it, it was the classic Brock strat. Uh, oh, yeah, of having Jazz eat all the opposition votes. Yeah. Uh, the difference here is Jazz only got 12. Brock got 27. <sighs> yeah. And but, Bench ended up eating a lot of opposition votes again, too. I mean, most of them were in that idol play. Yeah. For Jazz? Yeah, like half of them were. Yeah. Or a third. No, no, uh, for Bench. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because Bench had that good idol play where he ate like six votes or something. Crocker saved his ass. Yeah. yeah well, that was a good anime survivor, everybody. We'll yep. be back next week. Uh